you may be wondering why Abby's been tracking her ovulation. Good morning, everybody. It's a rainy day today. I am hanging out in my car outside of the local grocery store because I'm about to run inside. I'm going to get me some grocery store sushi. I could not tell you the correlation, but rainy days go hand in hand with grocery store sushi. Yeah. brought back our favorite, which is sushi. Yeah, Harper's favorite. This is his favorite food ever. We got so many rolls. That one looks really good. You gonna try it? Sure. Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to our channel. I'm not actually sure if Julia started the vlog. I think she said she did, but I am back and I need to test my ovulation again. I'm still in that like window where I need to be checking and then it'll just restart all over again and then I'll do it all over again. I also need to order more of these because I think that's my last one. And if you guys are wondering why I'm tracking my ovulation, we will talk about that in this video because I feel like it's been all over the place and we need to just, we need to sit down and explain everything. Sure. When you were picking up sushi, I was helping Harper go potty and we may have splashed a little water and I'm worried that a little water got in here because I peed earlier. So, kind of nervous about it. I can't imagine you were just throwing buckets of water in there. We were. Oh. <laughs> so rainy here today, but every single time it's gloomy or it's rainy, we gotta get some fresh air. Before we get into it, I did want to give a huge shout out to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. One of my main goals for 2024 is to keep working on my mental health. I have noticed a huge difference. I've been in therapy literally for probably three years now. What they will do is they will match you with a licensed therapist. If it's hard for you to meet with someone face to face or a right therapist is not in your area, BetterHelp might be a good fit for you. With BetterHelp, you can do your therapy sessions as a video, phone, and even messaging. If this sounds like something that you might like, you can click the link in our description, which is betterhelp.com slash AJ, and you will get 10% off your first month. To get started, all you will do is fill out a little questionnaire. They will match you with a therapist that best fits your needs. And in most cases, you can get matched with a licensed therapist 48 hours or less. There are over 4 million people who have started using BetterHelp. If you want to start living a happier, healthy life today, click the link in our description or go to betterhelp.com slash AJ. That's better H-E-L-P. Not only are you supporting our channel, but you will get 10% off your first month. Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. We absolutely devoured that sushi. I did. I was trying to put the camera on the blinds right there. I don't I know what my idea was it's there. It's blinds. It's gonna. I saved the leftovers, and we're gonna we're gonna eat it later today when we get hungry. That's the plan, right, Bet? Yep. Freaking vent cover will not stay on, and I'll tell you why. It's 100% my fault because I bought a floor vent cover. But Abby really likes these vent covers because they like have this like nice vintage style to them. <gasps> the timer went off. Let's go. What are you doing? <laughs> the timer went off for the um, ovulation test. Today is the day after you have like the ovulation, the LH rise, all that stuff, your progesterone is supposed to rise several days later. And then if it does rise to a sufficient level, then that means that it like confirms basically that you ovulated. So that's what we're waiting for right now. Looks like it went up a little bit. Okay, not Wait, like we'll, super high, but. We'll probably have to test again tomorrow. I thought it was gonna be today. That's still good news. That's okay. That's that means that it's better than yesterday. It's better than yesterday. So, that's, that's all we can hope for. That's all that matters. I mean, it's cold. This talk calls for a cozy, cozy moment. Just a blankie. Everybody. Come on, come and join us here. Come in, come on over. We saved a spot in here for you. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> so you may be wondering why Abby's been tracking her ovulation. We don't know. We're not telling I'm you. Just Can you imagine? We're like, <laughs> don't ask questions. As you guys know, if you're following our fertility journey, before my mom died, before all of that, Julia was having a really, really hard time. It was so many things coming up and I do feel like in that moment was the universe trying to say that that wasn't like right for us in the moment because that would have been really really hard for us to be going through what we've been dealing with and grieving and having another baby or another pregnancy that would have been really really hard but those things are still like relevant now there is still the polyp situation which can cause more miscarriages Julia has endometriosis which can make it a little bit more difficult mm -hmm. There just have been so many issues that have come up even when we've just been like okay we're starting to feel better now let's like jump back into things it always feels like there's something else mm -hmm. that comes up it does 
And then when, when that happens, I think you have to kind of take a step back and think, okay, like life is full of challenges, right. but are you trying to push something that like isn't going to work? You right. know what I mean? Like why not take a different approach mm -hmm. if that would work better? At the same time as all this is happening, we're thinking, okay, maybe this is like not working out for whatever reason. We've also been having a lot of conversations about how everything went down with you during your pregnancy, Which I feel during like your has birth, been a and postpartum, as right. to why you were even gonna get pregnant anyway, mm -hmm. like the next time, not like the deciding factor, but that was like a big reason. Right. Everything was just not. It, it didn't go very well. Mm -hmm. It didn't go how any of us wanted to, but especially how you wanted it to go. And that's been a real big bummer. And that was, I think, a big contributing factor to your postpartum depression mm -hmm. as well. It did feel like it kind of ruined our life there for a little bit, which sounds dramatic, but like there's a lot that we don't share online, obviously, because like we have private lives, but we had a really, really, really rough three years. Yeah. <laughs> like the roughest we've had. This is really rough. Really Whoa. <laughs> well, and this is a less known fact, and I'm going to butcher this fact, so maybe I'll put text on the screen that's oh, the no. correct okay. version of the fact, but I think it's something like 40% of women that get postpartum depression, it develops into a long-term mental health disorder. People always think it's like a baby blues type of thing for yeah. like three or six weeks and then like it's you're fine. Like but for me, I did develop some anxiety disorders that I didn't have before that I developed because of that postpartum anxiety, which is besides the point we don't have We're to get into We're going on a tangent, it. yeah. <laughs> the, the point is, there's a part of both of us that yearns for a redo, mm -hmm. right? And even I know, like with your experience, because like it yeah, is an totally. experience if I'm pregnant and it would, even if you were pregnant, it would be an experience for me in yeah. just like a different way. So all that being said, right now we're in this point where we both agree that it kind of feels like the fog is lifting, mm -hmm. you know? We're feeling more clear headed than we have been. We've been going through this kind of whiplash, like thing after thing and after thing. And you guys thing. have probably honestly like felt it. <laughs> Yeah, our vibe has been off, mm -hmm. but I feel like that it has been lifting and we both have yeah. agreed that things are feeling much more normal now. Mm -hmm. We feel clear headed, we're like the disassociation that <laughs> yeah. started the second yeah. he was born has lifted. Yeah. And so we, we think to ourselves, okay, well, what do we do with all of this? Mm -hmm. We have three vials left. Which is not a lot. If you mm -hmm. guys are, haven't done IVF or you guys are a same sex couple or like haven't done that, that is not a lot. To, to put it into perspective, to get pregnant with Harbor, it took us three vials, <laughs> which was really lucky, which was, was like yeah. really, really lucky for us. Right. Of those three vials, we need at least one if we're planning on doing IVF, because yes. usually they can take one mm -hmm. and get several embryos out of it, usually. But then we have two more besides that. And one thing that we had talked about is, you know, before Abby's mom died, is having me potentially do one at-home try mm -hmm. before we do IVF, just to see how it goes. Who knows? Maybe I'll get pregnant. We'll save a ton of money, you know? Yeah. But then we thought to ourselves, okay, the fog's lifted. <laughs> yeah. We want to redo. Why not potentially see where Abby's ovulation is at, see if it's even possible, because what if, instead of me doing that at home, Abby were to do the at home? There's a lot more benefits to it. Um, number one being, because I have endometriosis and polyps, the chances of me getting pregnant at home are much slimmer. A lot slimmer. <laughs> That's why it would actually be very beneficial for me to do IVF because mm -hmm. then it kind of skips over the negative side effects yeah. of what would happen because I have endometriosis and polyps. So if we are going to do an at-home try, it would make a lot more sense for you to do it than mm -hmm. me. Which I is would prefer something that. I've already done. My body has already done it. It's we know how it goes. For me. Yeah. Birth aside, I had a really easy pregnancy. I had... Well, up until like the very yeah. end, it was fine. I didn't yeah. have any issues or anything like that. And I have been tracking my hormones before all of this. Like I was tracking my hormones with ovulation tests and stuff like that. Even before I was like, I should track my ovulation just in case I have to be the one to try and carry. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. Why are you smiling at me like that? Because I love you. <laughs> Julia's been trying to sneak pictures of me this whole time. I, yes, you were looking so pretty while you were doing the sponsorship. So I was taking pictures of her. I was like, her. stop. <laughs> She's throwing me up. I'm like, do 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 better now. Anyway. So I was doing that before all of this and I've just kept doing it and my hormones have been looking so much better and it's making me feel so happy because I finally feel like I can see all of the progress that I've been putting in myself to heal my nervous system, eat healthy, like... So what does this all mean? It does not nothing mean... Nothing really right now. <laughs> it means nothing right now, but... And I don't want you guys to watch this video and think that like, okay, I'm for sure going to be the one to get pregnant next because that's not really what we're saying. We're saying yeah. that it could literally be either of us at this point. And we're we, saying we're opening the doors of possibility. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're just, we're both, we both have uteruses. We both have wombs and whoever it lands on, it lands on. May the best womb win. So moving forward, we're going to keep tracking 
your ovulation and seeing where things are at and who knows in the future if things are looking good with you we that that may maybe be our we'll plan try. maybe we will try yeah. doing that home and the you. way that i see it is like if it doesn't work it's not meant to be right because i don't want exactly. to be put on ivf um hormones and our like last vial our last one or two vials would have to be ivf so it's like mm -hmm. in that point it's in the universe's hands and if it's not yeah. Meant for me, it's not meant for me, and I'm honestly like okay with that. You'll pass me the baton. I'll pass you the baton. <laughs> Should we get a baby baton? Yeah. That'll be how you guys will know. That's good. We'll hide it in That's the back funny. of the video. That would be funny. Let's get a baby That's baton. Good baby. Okay. <laughs> I, I know like our original plan was Abby gets pregnant, then I get pregnant. Mm -hmm. And so some of you may be thinking, oh, well, what if Abby does get pregnant and then Julia is gypped of a pregnancy? I just, I don't care about that. There may yeah. have been a point in my life in which I thought that I cared about that. Now, looking at my son and the relationship that I have with him had nothing to do with DNA, has nothing to do with me being pregnant with him. I would never change that. It, do, it doesn't matter who carries him. It doesn't matter whose DNA he comes from. I know that if, if, the, if it's meant to be, it will be. Yeah. And I would much, much, much rather you carry and give birth to a baby that is your DNA that I get to raise with you than had to do something that's the wrong choice, mm -hmm. you know? And listen, Abby's going into a fifth house perfection year. I don't know what birthday. that means. This is an astrology term. Okay. And it is very, it could mean pregnancy, could mean birth. But that also know. could just be like another child. That means that maybe you could get pregnant. Maybe, but it usually has more to do with you oh. than me. But you never know. It could mean that you're just like, busy with children in general. But a lot of people get pregnant during fifth house perfection years, so I don't know. But anyway, that's where everything's at. And like we both said, we don't care how it happens. And even if we run out of vials, that's literally what's meant to be. And we will cross that bridge and we'll, we'll sit down in the same spot and we'll explain what our new plan is. But it is. will be the same spot. It will be the same spot and it will be in a blanket. Yes. And it will be a rainy day. Yes. But next time, can we have hot chocolate? Sure. Okay. Um, we need to put our groceries away. Yeah, they just got delivered, we so we gotta go put them away. Twerk of the day! Twerk of the day! Jeez, I got some mm. junk in the trunk! Yeah, baby! <laughs> Why did I just see Frank laying right here, and then when I like turned my head, he wasn't there? What? The gate is shut. Weird. Okay! You guys want a grocery haul? Pop chips. Pop corners. Pop corners. Brown rice. We've been anti-brown rice lately, because for yeah. some reason we keep buying shells in them. I don't know if this is a brown rice thing, or what? Snacks. Bananas. Coleslaw. A frag roll in a bowl. <laughs> it is. It's with coleslaw. <laughs> Watermelon. Julia is obsessed with lemonade and limeade. I got this because I want to make like a mocktail type of thing. I want to do limeade, coconut milk, and like mint or something. I don't know. Figure this kind of tastes like a mojito. This really? thing. Julia likes to drink these in the morning. I've never tried them, but she says that they're good. They're so. too expensive, but really? they're nice. It's, it's a lot of uh, protein for very little calories. The ratio is great, and it's just so easy to chug down. And it's good to have some protein in the morning, you know. I feel like we really need to clean out our fridge. It's not looking too good. Stop them. I've seen more fridges. That is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. For a lot of ovulation testing, fertility testing, all of that stuff, because that's gonna be coming up in the next couple of videos as we keep making sure that everything's ready and getting everything ready for what we decide to do next and following our journey of just this thing that we call life. But anyway, we appreciate you guys following along for what has been a mess over the past three years? What? This thing we call life. This thing we call life. Lots of fun videos coming ahead. We have a lot of fun stuff planned that we want to do this summer and get done this summer. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and follow us on TikTok and Instagram and all the good things. We'll leave those all below. Oh, I was watching our old videos and I was like, notification shout outs of the day were like actually kind of fun. So I think we should do them again. And you know what? I'm not even gonna ask Julia. Comment down below. Let us know that you want a notification shout out and you might be in our next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Bye.